Hashtag Arthur Aspie, my Arthur, my Aspergers. The strange birds of Robert John Burton, hand-built and fired clay sculptures. The native birds of Australia contain some of the most colourful and strange feathered creations. Some like the budgerigar have become worldwide pets. Nature is always the starting point for art. These are sketches from my notebooks. Brilliant, aren't they? From giant emus and cassowaries to the ubiquitous parrots and magpies, all inspirations for my sculpting. All my sculptures begin with observation and a drawing, then stuff happens. This is a set of Palm Island cockatoos that are mostly native to Northern Australia, cheeky birds. Drawing is the key, whether it is a duck, hen or something odder, whimsy is a good start. In Australia, we refer to hens, chickens and roosters as chooks. It can be a mild insight too. I shape them as hollow with chunky feet on the solid base from slabs of rolled clay. The glazes and slips, liquid clay, are fired or glossed. Glossed means glazed. Clayware was glossed in a gas or electric kiln. This is a lithium blue glaze. Some of my birds are quite tall. They began with different types of support material before they became all clay. These had steel legs. Then they got bigger. These cassowaries had wooden legs shaped from collected driftwood, standing up to 1.8 metres. All my exhibitions had birds in them. Eventually I made ceramic legs reinforced with steel rods and finished in two parts for easier transport, average height around 1.5 metres. Bird heads or bus give me a point to add character, or more to the point, show the type of bird, one chook or cockatoos. Owls were made famous in Harry Potter, but have always been the symbol of wisdom. The abstracted patterns of the bird shape presents opportunities for suggestion, something wild, something tame. My favourite? Mosaics, created from tiles and mounted on painted boards, bringing painting and ceramics together. A lot of work. These are black swans, Cygnus attratus, a species of swan. Within Australia, they are nomadic with erratic migration patterns depending upon climatic conditions. Thanks for viewing. Visit my website to see more of my work. Consider subscribing, commenting and liking.